Hey guys, welcome to the tavern. I'm your barkeep, Ben, and this is Savannah. Hello! What you gonna make for me today? Well, today we're gonna be making a couple drinks. Uh, the first one is called the Bardic Inspiration, and then the other one is gonna be the Dragon's Horde. Okay, Ben, I'm hoping I'm getting to breathe fire after this. I hope it's warm. <laughs> it might be. Oh man, maybe well, I can burn this place down. Well, we're gonna start off with the uh, Dragon's Horde. I have a shaker of ice here. And uh, the Dragon's Horde requires gold tequila, Bacardi Dragonberry, sour mix, Bacardi 151, and pineapple juice all the way on the very end Ooh, here. So, uh, yeah, hit me with the uh, gold tequila. I've been to Mexico enough to have a great appreciation for tequila. Give me a shot of that. Ooh. It's got the weird... Yeah, this bottle is from Mexico. They have weird uh, stoppers there. It's like a ball bearing kind of thing. There we go. Gotta give it a good shake. It's so you can't get drunk too fast. <laughs> <laughs> that makes just enough sense for me not to dispute it. <laughs> Okay, what's next? Uh, next we're gonna follow up with a shot of the Bacardi Dragonberry. Now I have not been too adventurous in my Bacardi, so I've had the regular Bacardis and nothing else. Is Dragonberry really sweet or something? Oh yeah, it's uh, strawberry and dragon fruit. Oh man, that sounds delicious. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty strong too, as, as far as uh, sweet rums go. So we're gonna follow up with uh, Actually, the 151. Okay. Picked up the wrong one. This is the Bernie stuff. There you are. Yeah. Want. So we're just going to do a quarter of a shot of that. Gonna Not too much Bernie stuff. Guesstimate. This just adds a little bit of uh, body and bite. The fire part. And then I'm going to shake this up. Shake it like a shake weight. You okay. can do it. Okay. We're going to cut here because I forgot that we were making two drinks. <laughs> now I'm going to need these two glasses here. I'm going to pour this in. This is fancy. I don't usually get creative enough with my drinking in these days. That's a lot of liquor, isn't it? Yeah, that is. I'm kind of getting excited. I'm a Let's... big hard liquor fan. Let's balance it out with the pineapple juice. Okay. It's going to be three ounces for each of us. I do love me some pineapple juice. And uh, we're going to top that with a little sour mix. Another one of my favorites. <laughs> just a splash of that. I was expecting it to be red, but yellow is almost just as exciting. Give that a little swirl. And there we go. This okay. is the Dragon's Horde. Okay, I'm very excited. Let's see what it tastes like. Mm. Oh, that's very good. It's sweeter than I was expecting, but it's in a weirdly refreshing sort of hot, and I'm excited about it. Right. It's real, real sweet and real strong. The tequila comes in after, but I can taste the berry and the pineapple first. So I'm really a big fan of this because if the tequila was covered up by all the everything, I would have been very sad. Yeah. I will say <laughs> that uh, we maybe wanted to put it in a slightly bigger glass with just a little bit more sour mix. I'm always up for more sour this is, mix. A wee bit strong for me. I don't know about everyone. I I am a fan of strong, so this is fine for me because you can have more tequila than sweet and sour mix. <laughs> now, for my sister and other people, <laughs> they might be the other way around. <laughs> right. Well, good old farm girls got to have her tequila. <laughs> we're going to we're going to clean up this and we're going to move on to our next drink now. Take it easy.
Welcome back, everyone. We're gonna move on and we're gonna try the Bardic Inspiration now. After we've had the Dragon's Horn, and I've very much enjoyed it. I'm very excited. All right, so uh, the ingredients for the Bardic Inspiration are tonic water. We have diet for some reason. I don't know who bought that. Drambuie, which is a uh, scotch-based honey liqueur. Amaretto and sweetened lime juice. Well, I'm always up for mead, so I'll probably like this. I also like amaretto. Yeah, it does It does actually kind of taste like mead. So, we're gonna start off with a shaker again. And we're gonna hit that with half a shot of lime. Are you making two drinks this time? Yes, I am making <laughs> two drinks this time. <laughs> As long as we've got that square, I'll let you drink with me, instead of just stealing anything you make. <laughs> Alright. So, we're gonna follow that up with a shot of amaretto. Why'd you use Drambuie? Because I have no idea what that is! So, Drambuie is, as I said before, a scotch-based whiskey, or liqueur, rather. I kind of wanted to get the uh, Highland, kind of the, the old... When I, when I think of a bard, I think of like the old wise men in these uh, like medieval European stories, and so I wanted to kind of channel that essence. And Drambuie is a Scottish drink with a supposedly pretty epic legend. Oh man. Well, bards can do a little bit of everything, so I guess that's... A pretty, you know, good drink for them. So we're gonna do a shot of that for each of us. Then the lime juice and amaretto was put in to make them sweet. Right. Add a little bit of, uh... Adventure. <laughs> yeah, that's one way of putting it. Hey, bards can resurrect. They do it through the power of music and trickery. Or whatever the heck they want to do. <laughs> so I'm gonna shake this now. Give it a nice thorough shaking. And we're gonna use mule glasses. Because they're cool and I love them. Also Moscow mules, they're great. And I hope you haven't named this dragon yet because I've named her Harriet and she's fun. <laughs> All right, I'm fine with that. Yeah, so now you have a name for your mascot dragon. And I'll be very angry if you forget about it later. I probably will. <laughs> it's okay, I'll remind you. So we're gonna top this with tonic water. The diet kind, which I'm still a little sad about, but I guess I'll deal with. Now, you would think adding tonic water to this, it would be bitter, but something about the Drambuie actually makes it real pleasant. It cancels out the bitterness almost entirely. I appreciate a bitter, but I'm interested in what it's gonna do, because I do like a good gin and tonic also. Which is, you know, totally the limey bitter. And there we go. That's the Bardic Inspiration. Let's drink and be merry. Mm. Oh man, that is... It's very good. Amaretto at the very last bits, but you can still taste the tonic water and everything. Right, and uh... Drambuie, it's, it's more than just honey. It's... There's also a lot of spice in there. And that, the little bits of spice kind of come in at the very end, they kind of stay on your tongue. Kind of reminds me of a really, really, really good sparkling water. Except with alcohol, which makes it infinitely better. I was gonna say, this, <laughs> better, this <laughs> better be... Infinitely better! Better not taste like sparkling water, there's a lot of... This, this thing right here is expensive. <laughs> it tastes good, but it tastes like really, really, really excellent sparkling water with alcohol. Well, thanks for the praise. <laughs>
If you have a recipe that you want to share, D&D related or otherwise, put it in the uh, put it in the comments below and we might feature it on the show. Have a good one.